As a kid, what was your worst crap? My parents are going to kill me moment? Still am a kid, but in first grade I broke a spoon. I don't know why I was scared. We had a crap ton of spoons. My little 6 year old brain couldn't imagine what would happen because I broke that freaking spoon. I thought I would have to run away or something. Turns out my parents didn't give a frick. The thought process of you imagining that you would be getting in trouble would be hilarious. When I exploded the microwave, for the second time, my parents sent me and my best friend to my room, which in hindsight was not the smartest thing of them to do, we just kept messing around. I didn't know you guys were that friendly with each other. Got in a fight at school. I was usually a pretty good student so when I got my first, and only, after school detention cleaning the gyms I thought my parents were going to freak. Turns out they loved it and bought me pizza haha. Sister and I were doing the dishes and started flicking water at each other. Ended in a full blown, house wide water fight. At some point we stopped and realized what we just did. My boyfriend's story is worse, better. He has 8 siblings and they started a house wide tomato fight. They got in a lot more trouble. Had a spaghetti fight with my sister. When mom came back into the room, we acted like nothing had happened. Quietly eating our dinner, with spaghetti on the walls, our hair, the ceiling. I don't remember the rest of that night. When I was 5 I made my family homeless. I was a serious pyro when I was a young boy. I have 3 sisters I am a guy, and I'm the youngest. So I was picked on a lot by them. One day in particular I was especially mad at my oldest sister. My mother and sisters all went into the living room to watch television and I plotted my revenge. I thought of all of the things she loved and remembered her new cheerleading pom poms and outfit. I smiled as I knew what had to be done. I crept into our kitchen and climbed on the counter to get the matches out of the top cabinet. Crappy hiding place. Then I slipped down the hall to my sister's room. In the corner she had all of her cheerleading stuff laid out. So I took the liberty of burning the pom poms. At first they started melting and then they flared up and caught fire. I was very satisfied with myself. I remember looking into the mirror she had on her wall and laughing like a maniac. Like the joker. Then out of the corner of my eye I see a huge flame. I realize the fire is getting out of control. I panicked, threw the matches in the fire to destroy evidence, and darted out of the room. I closed the door behind me. I walked down the hall freaking out inside and thinking of a way to explain that the house was on fire. So I decided to do what anyone would do. Act like it wasn't me. I walked into the living room and cuddled up to my mom and told her I loved her. Which made her suspicious since I was obviously acting odd. Then smoke started billowing from the hall. My mom gets up and walks to my sister's room and opens the door. I think she was in shock because she saw the smoke and got all wide eyed. Smoke. Tons of smoke. It pours out of the room and she screams while jumping up in the air and picks all four of her kids up and rushes them out of the house. She ran back in to get her purse and valuables. We were freaking out. The fire department showed up and put out the fire. My mother didn't say a word to me. My dad was at work about 30 minutes away and I knew she waiting for him to deal with me. We went to my grandma's house in the meantime. I was worried sick and thinking of how my dad would decide to kill me. Then he showed up. I heard him pull in and I ran to the window and watched as he grabbed a stick out of the back of his truck. My grandma asked I wonder what that's for. I knew. It was for my butt. I ran and hid under my grandma's bed. My dad walks in. It was like a horror movie. All I could see was his feet as he stood there. Time stood still. All he said was come out. Boy. I slowly crawled from under the bed and he was quiet. He then proceeded to beat my butt. Everything that we saved from the fire was put in storage. A week later someone broke in and stole everything except our photo albums. I literally made my family lose almost everything. TL. DR. Burned my house down when I was 5 and what was saved from the fire was stolen from storage a week later. Comma I wonder what that's for. Made me laugh out loud. Your grandma is awesome. I was about 10, and it was Christmas day around 6pm. Brand new Wii. Just got it that morning. Brand new flat screen TV. Gift from mom to dad. Plasma TV. Expensive back then. Lanyards are for lame people. Wii bowling. TV has speedoward cracks and is hissing as the gases inside escape. Turn TV off. Attempt to take it off the stand to hide it. 
It falls and makes a huge noise breaks even more dramatically. Glass on floor. Grab we and run to room. Apology is not an option. Load BB gun. Hide behind bed. Pointing BB gun at door. Second amendment. Castle doctrine. Alamo. I hear the scream of a man who has lost his beautiful new flat screen and just stepped on glass all at once. He opens the door. I love him. So of course I don't shoot him. Because I'm a stupid kid. I freeze in place. Don't try to hide that I was gonna shoot him in the knee with a BB gun and escape. Rage. Tackled. Disarmed. Regret lack of fortification. Serious talk. Loss of pellet gun. Therapy. He still talks to me loves me forgives me for some reason. Feels like an idiot still to this day. That's freaking hilarious. Well, this wasn't my parents, but when I was maybe 10 I was over at a friend's house in late fall. We were hanging out in the hayloft to the family's barn and we found a chain laying on the floor beneath small drifts of loose hay. So as 10 year old boys are like to do we began taking turns swinging it around and smashing it off things. At one point my friend takes the chain and walks over to one of the windows and smashes the glass out with it. He then hands it to me and points to the other one. So I smashed the glass out of that one. Together we smashed the glass out of all of the windows in the barn. My friend told me not to tell, but I felt awful. When we went inside and his mother asked us what we did I told her. She exploded at my friend, yelling about keeping the cows warm in the winter and how expensive glass was. He got grounded for about a month and I had to go home early. I think she just assumed it was all his fault because my parents never said anything to me. He was a weird kid. TL. DR. Smashed windows in barn with friend. Friend gets hit by the train I escape. Okay. So when I was about 13 years old, I was super into P and well downloaded some sort of page 2P client like Lemuar to get my fix. Well one night when my mom was gone and it was just my dad and I, I hear my dad yell for me from where the computer was at. I come downstairs and he's like, is this yours and I just nod yes in return. Well then my dad proceeds to tell me I'm not mad at you for looking a pee. It's totally normal for your age, but you can't be downloading 13, 14, and 15 year old pee on here. I was like oh crap, I didn't even think about that. They totally wouldn't believe you if the cops came knocking. So yeah I was downloading P of girls in my age range. Well because I was that age and didn't even give a second thought as to how much crap my dad would have gotten in on my behalf. We haven't spoke of it to this day and I'm 28 now haha. <laughs> I came home stoned as frick and when I entered the kitchen I saw a bag of cookies one of my parents did for some friends being really hungry I thought nobody would notice if I eat some of them I accidentally destroyed the bag and half of the cookies landed on the ground. This happened 2 hours ago. I don't even have cookies in my house but I'm stoned and I'm afraid that this is gonna happen to me. <laughs> When I couldn't undo the knot I made to hard tie my little brother, I had a brief moment of serious panic and then I dragged him into a corner, put tape over his mouth and threw a blanket over him. Mum got home and I went to the park. I can't remember if I told this story on Reddit a long time ago or not, and I'm too lazy to go look, so I'll just give the short version. When I was around 10, give or take a year, not sure, my parents got me a new babysitter to go out, for some strange reason, I didn't have too many repeat babysitters. Shrug. At 9 o'clock in the evening, she told me that it was my bedtime and made me get in bed and turn off the lights. This really pee me off, because it wasn't a school night and I had no such ridiculous bedtime. So I stayed awake, and an hour or so later, I sneaked out of my room and found the sitter asleep in my mom's rocking chair. So I did the only logical thing I could think of, I got a rope and managed to get her successfully tied to the chair before she woke up. Then, despite death threats and promises of horrible torture, I worked for a good half an hour getting her tied to where I was sure she couldn't escape. I then, like a true boss, went and hid in a closet and fell asleep. My parents eventually came home and released the babysitter, but couldn't find me for over an hour, by which time my dad had taken the sitter home, with her vowing to never sit for them again. The bus beating I got for that would have gotten Adrian Peterson suspended for life from the NFL, but it was worth it. My dad still loves to tell this story. TL. DR. Tied up evil babysitter. Got butt beat. 
One time my brothers and I misbehaved in church. My grandpa caught me rolling under the pews. Instead of punishing me there, he took me home and told me he'd deal with me when he got back from church. I concluded that this was the end of 8 year old Simplesimum 6262, so I spent the next hour riding my bike for the last time, playing Mario for the last time, and saying goodbye to all my stuffed animals. When the time came near, I laid on my bed, said a quick prayer, and resolved to take my ultimate punishment as a man. I got a quick spanking, and a stern talking to you, but I never misbehaved in church again. Your grandpa must have cast a big shadow. I know it must have been terrifying for you, but the idea of you getting your 8 year old affairs in order made me smile a bit. I went out after my mother had said don't. Unfortunately I forgot the house key and when I got back around 11pm, I had to knock. The door opened and my mother hit me on my eye with the heel of her shoe. Nothing was said. The following day I had a big bump on the side of my eye. We never talked about it. I was 13. That was 57 years ago. This happened when I was 12. We had a two car garage with a minivan and a car parked in it. The snow blower was in the corner by the garage door. My dad was legally blind was trying to get it out. He asked me to carefully angle the van towards the car and partially out of the garage. Apparently it still wasn't enough room. He told me to straighten the wheel of the van and drive it out of the garage. Well, I didn't straighten it enough and the front quarter panel of the van hit the back corner of the car's bumper. In my panic, my foot slipped off of the brake and onto the gas. I wrecked the van all the way from the front wheel to the rear wheel and pulled the bumper off the car. I thought for sure that my dad would end me right there. Mum came out and couldn't believe that dad wouldn't come get her to move the van. That's when I realized that dad fricked up by having a 12 year old drive. When I was a freshman I went to Hooters with some of my senior friends. The worst part was that I called my mom and asked her if I could go. She adamantly told me no and that was that. Little did I know, I would find out later, that my phone didn't hang up and she heard me say whose car am I going in, and then heard us all talking about me actively disobeying my parents and me trying to be all cool about it. So I went to Hooters and had a great time and then had to be driven home by my very quiet angry dad. He was pee, and then when I got home nothing could have prepared me for what my mom had done. She had printed out page after page of scantily clad s looking hooter girls from google and taped them all over the house. There were half naked girls everywhere as my mom berated me asking is this what you want daydreaming boo? Do you think this is what Jesus wants for you? After everything was said and done I was grounded for 3 weeks and couldn't hang out with those friends ever again. But jokes on my mom. I turned out gay. D. When I was younger, my parents used to drive me, my siblings, and some friends up to a lake in the Adirondacks for a week in the summer. Well I had a pallet gun up there that I like to shoot empty cans, milk containers, similar crap with. One fine afternoon of blowing holes in plastic and aluminum, everything was just peachy until I noticed a seemingly abandoned and irritatingly intact construction vehicle near my shooting gallery, and well, I thought maybe construction vehicle windshields were tough enough to withstand a pallet gun, they should be for what they are built to do, right? So me being the little fuck that I was, without really thinking it through any further, short the crow 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 Then I looked around and realized that this thing was totally still being used to build a house right next to the one we were staying at. I knew my parents were going to literally murder me. Spoilers. They did. I am kill. Rip spooky ghost. I was fishing in a creek and stepped in glass with my left foot when I was 8. So much. So much blood. Almost lost my foot. Parents didn't really freak but I was scared they would kill me. P. Why would they kill you for something like that? You didn't do anything wrong. When I was about 8, I called the police on the emergency number and told them I was dying and it was my dad's fault. Then a bunch of well equipped cops and an ambulance pulled up outside of my house. I'd say when I got a speeding ticket and then crashed into someone's car cause I got lost on the way to that stupid speed awareness thing they try and get you to do in the UK instead of getting points, but I was 19 so that doesn't count. I think I've always been the same level of scared of my parents, so I'll go for the first one. I hit a kid in school cause she told me, and I quote, I don't like you cause you're white. 
I was 4. I can't remember exactly what happened, but I thought my parents were gonna be mad at me. They weren't. Biggest relief of my young life haha. <laughs> Breaking the rules, not mine, my brother. He hid in the woods for 6 days because he totaled his new Land Rover by parking it on top of our septic tank and causing a collapse. Needless to say he was. Dramatic sunglasses removal. In deep crap. <laughs> Halloween night I was 16 and had the house to myself. My parents were going to be out of town that night at a Halloween party. My younger siblings were staying at another relative's. I decided I was going to pamper myself with a long soak in our large jacuzzi tub with scented candles. The tub was large so it takes quite a bit to fill it so I decided to smoke a joint and check my email. I ended up getting too stoned and having this awesome conversation on instant messenger. 40 minutes later I realized the tub is running. I rushed downstairs and the whole back of the house was flooded. It was insane. There was a water bubble about a foot and a half high in the center of the family room next to the bathroom. There was water up to my ankles in the bathroom. I frantically turned off the water, drained the tub, grabbed blankets and towels trying to soak up water but it wasn't helping. I decided to hatch a plan. I completely drained and dried out the tub as if it were never touched. I shoved toilet paper down the toilet and stayed pouring water to overflow it. I turned off the valve on the back of the toilet to make it look like I was trying to stop a overflowing toilet. Then the second act of my plan I got myself worked up enough to cry. Concocted this story about how I had gone to the bathroom and didn't realize I clogged the toilet so it overflowed for quite some time before I noticed it because I was in my room playing video games. Called my grandma pretending to be so upset and frantic. She came and brought my grandpa and a shop vac and extra towels. We got the rest of the water out. They called my parents told them about the toilet and everyone bought it. I should have won an Oscar for that crap. I am 31 years old now. I finally told everyone the truth on Christmas when I was 25. They were so shocked. LOL. In 7th grade my language arts class went to the computer lab for a project about our favorite animal. My 7th grade self had a fricked sense of humor. I was doing my report on elephants. And I had an ingenious idea to look up elephant boner right as my teacher was walking behind me. The images that popped up drew the immediate attention of my entire class. My teacher gave me the worst what the frick expression. And I thought she would call my parents. Fortunately, my family never found out about it. Got arrested with a friend for smoking a blunt in my car around the corner from his house. Cop knocked on the window, rolled the window down and smoke practically billowed out of the car. In the backseat of the car on the way to the slammer, I mumbled that my curfew is in 10 minutes. And the cop laughed. I accidentally added dish soap, palm olive, to a dishwasher. The entire apartment was filled with bubbles. My dad was 30 minutes out and my sister laughed while I am taking pictures of bubbles to the bathtub. I was 16, and like most males that age ready to get a piece. I had been dating a girl for a while, and imagine my excitement when I realized that tonight is the night. We go to a park in another town about 10 miles east, I park my 89 Bronco 2, and proceed forward with the Coetus. I get her bra off and my pants about halfway down when the reflection of headlights appear in my rearview mirror, followed by flashing red and blue lights. We both dress faster than we ever have as the cop approached my window. It was a lady cop. License and proof of insurance? Here you go, mom. What are you doing out here at 10.45 at night? Uh, talking. Really? How old are you, young lady? Me. She's 16. I didn't ask you. She goes on to question us for 20 minutes. Apparently this park was a common meeting place for drug dealers so the cops kept their eye on it. She writes me a ticket for trespassing on city property after hours and takes my girlfriend home. I get home 10 minutes past my curfew and my dad is furious. He asks, why are you late? I got a ticket. Handing him the ticket. Oh. How fast were you going? Not fast enough. When I was 4, my little brother was born. I swear jealously took over. So one day I locked him and I in a room together. And I literally stepped on the kid over and over again. How he's still alive, I don't know. I love him though, lol. When I was 8 and my sister was 10 we decided to make parachutes out of grocery store bags. 
trash bags, and drop them out the second floor window. We started off with her barbies and my army men and were so delighted when it worked. We gradually started dropping larger, heavier and more valuable items. We even dropped a small urn of our grandfather's ashes. After that was successful we knew we were doing the lord's work. We decided, after successfully dropping the N64, that the TV had to go. We worked on this badass parachute for about 20 minutes. It had two garbage bags and each garbage bag had two grocery bag mini shoots. It was really a thing of beauty. We attached it to the TV as best we could and began the tedious process of carrying it over to the window. We began our countdown. 3, 2, 1. And as soon as we let go we knew we had fricked up. The chutes never even opened. They might as well have been streamers. The TV hits the driveway and breaks into a bazillion pieces. Right as our mother pulls around the corner. We race downstairs in time to see her step out of the car. Look up at the window. Back down at the TV and parachutes and after what felt like an eternity. She laughs. She's laughing so hard she's in tears. My sister and I chuckle nervously thinking that we might have broken our mother. But she is laughing so hard she has to sit on the ground. After a few minutes she tells us to sit with her, so we are having a little powwow right outside between the Brolin TV and her running car, and she leans in and says I've been wondering how to get you two to watch less TV and starts laughing uncontrollably again. I put cat poop in the microwave and turned it on for a minute because I thought it would kill the bacteria in the poop. Did not end well. This one time I spilled unidentifiable trash juice and maggots in my dad's really nice car. Then sprayed carpet cleaner in it, freaked out, started crying. My BFF helped me fix it and he never found out. This happened when I was 19. I just turned 20. Two days ago. I'm an idiot. I vandalized a car with my friends when I was in 5th grade. And when I say vandalized, I mean we fricked that car up. We slashed the tires, broke all of the windows, scraped the paint with rocks, trashed, here's the best part. It was my next door neighbor's car. That was the very last time I got spanked with the belt. And by spanked I mean torn asunder. Destroyed. Striped like a freaking zebra. My girlfriend in high school showed me a positive pregnancy test. I came home. And while choking down vomit. Told my parents that my girl was pregnant. It turned out that the test belonged to a friend of my mom's and that my parents were pulling a prank on me. Snuck out of my house at 15 to go hang out with my boyfriend. I guess the dog heard me and woke my parents up. We had just gotten to my boyfriend's house when my dad called me. I was too scared to answer. So I just had my BF drive me back to my house. On the way, we accidentally ran over a cat. Which was so incredibly horrifying. I cried. And then when I got home my dad had locked up the entire house so I had to ring the doorbell at 3am to get in. I was grounded for weeks and weeks. That cat died for your sins. My mom was terrified of rats. After years and years of begging she finally gave in and let me get one. I got two. She obviously was regretting the decision by the time I got home and terrified to live in her own home. A week later found out one was pregnant and ended up with 15 rats. That was not a good decision to have. Ended up keeping two of the babies. The two original adults and finding homes for the rest went better than expected. When I was about 8 years old I hit my little brother, age 6, over the top of his head with a toy rake and made about 3 puncture holes. Did you guys know your scalp bleeds like a mofo when it is cut? He had blood streaming all down his face and was screaming. Oh, crap. They are going to kill me. I'd better lock myself in the bathroom for safety. P.S. He deserved it. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.